Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new and improved functionality of limit values bias on filters in a workbook. There are three different locations for the author of the workbook to add filters, the top filter bar, the dashboard filters, which are true canvas specific filters, and then each of the whiz on the canvas can have its own filters. The values for limit values by is set to default, meaning that the city column in this example, the list of values for city column is affected by the value selected on the state column, which is higher in scope on the same filter location. So for example, if I change the state value from all to California, the values for city is limited to the cities that belong to California. You can see that the list of values is now reduced to 81. Now this behavior is true for all columns that belong to the same filter location. I'm gonna add category and subcategory to one of the dashboard filter bars. When you open up the limit values by setting for category or subcategory column in this dashboard filter bar, it's set to default, meaning that subcategory can only be limited by category. And the custom list of values that's displayed is only limited to those filter columns that belong to it the same location. Subcategory and category on this dashboard filter cannot be limited by state and city, which is higher in scope and also in a different filter location. Now let me move subcategory to the other dashboard filter bar. And let's open up the limit values when you can see that subcategory is now in a different dashboard filter bar, which means that it belongs to its own location and can only be limited by any columns that you add to this dashboard filter. To demonstrate the next improvement, I'm gonna bring city to one of the dashboard filter bar and reset the value on the state filter. So for city limit values by, I'm gonna set it to none. Now, when I choose a value from a column that is in a different location, let's say state in this example, when I select California, the values for city will still be limited by the value selected on a column that is in a different location. The proper way for the author to not limit the city list of values to be impacted by the state column, which is in a different location, is via the property panel of the dashboard filter bar. Now let's go to the property panel and go to the filters tab. On the filter tab, I can explicitly say that I don't want the state column, which is in a different filter location, to impact my columns on this dashboard filter bar. So now when you open up the city column, you can see that the city list of values is not impacted by the values chosen on the state column. Thank you for watching this video.